Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Dave here at Marketing Ideas for Printers. And as you can tell, I am not Trish, who is usually here on these meetings. She is in mom mode today. Uh, she had some kids that, uh, well, just quite honestly, were under the weather. And I know you just can hardly even say that without thinking, oh, no, did they get it? Did they get the C word? And I don't think so. I think it's just normal, good old fashioned sick bug. So that is why Trish is not here. And that is why I am here just to, um, to sit in. And just for a handful of reasons, we're actually going to kind of make this, a, I suppose, somewhat of an informal meeting and kind of a short meeting and uh, actually may not even get into the guts of Odyssey uh, itself today. Um, uh, but I do have it on the screen and I, I will uh, touch on uh, maybe just a couple of pieces of that. So first and foremost, I do want to wish you um, preemptively by uh, depending what time zone you're in, maybe about 10 hours here, I want to wish you a happy new year. And I think that has a whole new meaning this year, um, the, the kind of year we've had. You're here, you're getting ready to say happy new year. You made it, congratulations. Not everyone gets to say that. So just the fact that you're here and we can say that with each other, that's a big deal. So. Congratulations for making it through 2020. Let's look forward to 2021. A lot of good stuff around the corner here. Um, so, uh, very short agenda. I do have a few poll questions I'm going to throw up here. And um, uh, as I'm talking about Trish and her sick kids, maybe saying I'm going to throw up a poll wasn't the best choice of words, but hey, we'll roll with it today. Um, uh, let's see. So, one thing I did want to mention, um, as we're getting deeper into helping you get your resources and your workflows and everything set up, um, one of those important resources is, of course, the media resources. And media, it's the fancier XJDF word that we all know as paper, among other things, but main, mainly paper. And so we're getting a little bit more uh, forward progress on being able to import um, your paper resources for you. Uh, we've got actually two of those uh, coming up, and right now that is something that has to be done by our development team behind the scenes. And so if that is you, that you would like to get your paper resources imported, uh, please let us know, and uh, we'll work with you one-on-one -on, -one on how to do that. Uh, just from the big picture perspective, it's going to be best if you can send us your paper resources as a uh, as a CSV file or uh, just a, a simple spreadsheet type of a file and we'll work with you just to find out um, what what path works best for you on that so that's a little bit of the housekeeping items um, the other housekeeping item I'm just going to touch on this I know Trish does a really good job mentioning this and I want to do it as well is once you are logged into Odyssey uh, Trish has just put a lot of her heart and soul into building out the help um, the help system in Odyssey. So I do want to remind you that once you're logged in right at the top here, you've got this help menu and that pops you into um, just a lot of information. Uh, as I said, Trish has been very good at um, putting this together. So I just want to, want to make sure that you are aware of that resource and also remind you that we are your resource as well. We never ever want to go without mentioning that. So that uh, we, we just really want to be super hands-on on where we are at with Odyssey. Um, not just now, always, of course, but especially now, uh, just as uh, a number of you are kind of putting those pieces together. So um, I had mentioned that I am going to put up a, a couple of polls. Uh, this kind of goes back to something I had mentioned at a uh, recent webinar is that we're at this transition point now uh, where all of, the, all of the major sections of what Odyssey needs to be are represented within Odyssey itself here. And there's more to do. There's, you know, there, there continues to be pieces that we want to build and improve and expand and just make better. That's all coming. Uh, but all of those pieces are there. And for us, for me in particular, that means we're transitioning into more of a listening mode. Uh, not that we haven't all already been listening, but it's going to be, we're going to kind of crank that intensity up a little bit. And we want to listen to you because it has to work for you. It can't just be working in our theoretical conceptual minds here. It needs to work for you. And so um, we want to make sure we're listening to how it can work best for you. And so that is me setting the stage to ask 
who questions. Now we have a very small group of people on here today. Um, just to really cut right to the chase, I only see two of you on here. So when I put these questions up, you're going to see answers. If you both answer, we're going to see answers that are either 50% or 100% responses. So it'll be pretty easy to reverse engineer who you are and who else is there. But with that said, I'm going to throw up this listening type of a question here. And actually, I should set the stage. I have two questions I'm going to ask. They really both go back to something that we've um, mentioned uh, recently. Uh, I believe on the webinar, if not certainly through a number of conversations, is run speed for devices, most specifically for, uh, for presses and uh, digital and offset presses, is how do we affect the run speed of the presses for the different uh, media, the different paper that goes through that? And the two questions that, or the two um variables i guess you could say that that influence that are the thickness of the paper and the size of the paper and that's not true for everybody but when it is true those are the two that come up so that is my setup and let me put the first question which matches up with that and here is the first one and it is to talk about paper thickness and uh, just answer this question for me if you would please what is your preferred way to classify paper thickness and just pick one of those um, there's the first one which is the geeky xjdf measurement of microns maybe it's not geeky i don't know but do you measure paper thickness by microns like if you if someone if another printer were to come up and you just say how do you measure your paper thickness microns is one or do you go a little bit of a bigger picture basis weight uh, for instance 60 pound offset or grammage the metric equivalent 89 gsm um, and another one stock type do you classify it as bond book bristol etc or something else and i see a 50 50 percent votes uh two 50 percent votes which means both of you have voted and um I'm going to just show you here we'll close the poll we'll open it up and share the results there it is one for microns one for basis weight so because we're in a little bit more of the informal mode we might up open up this question here or open up the microphones and we can all talk about that if we want um, but before we do i'm going to ask the other question as well which also relates to um, how how the paper might influence the um the, the speed of the device and the setup for this i'll put the poll up here um the setup is you can choose as many as you want on this one uh what causes your machines to substantially change their operating speed and so we've got thickness we have and the next the next three answers i want to explain those a bit is uh often we hear the size of the paper well size might mean length might mean height or it might mean both and so that's why we've got that kind of that cluster of three questions there and the ever popular something else so that is the question um looks like we've got our votes in so with the small crowd it goes like this i'll close the poll we'll share the results and there it is so we've got a length and a length and height but not thickness so that's um in this particular case well, I, pr I probably took this webinar in a little bit of a different direction. Well, I know I did a little different direction than Trish would because I know she's kind of uh, a more of the bigger picture education type of perspective where we just went into the down deep details. And there's a place for that too. Typically, that's going to be a more of the one on one calls. So, for both of you that are live and also for the benefit of those of you that are listening on the recorded version of that. Um, I guess that's where I'd kind of like to wrap up the webinar is just to remind you that if you have kind of some of those deeper questions like that, um, it is totally appropriate for us to go one-on-one -on -one just like we did here. Um, so kind of kind of bent the, uh, the flavor of today's webinar uh, on something that's going to probably be more appropriate for the one-on-one. -on -one. However, at the same time, I am just really very thankful that we had the opportunity, kind of the smaller crowd, to be able to do that today to dig in deep. So I think I, what I need to do, just I need to be a bit of a clock watcher and honor and a commitment that's coming around the corner. So I'm going to wrap today's webinar up. But again, just want to thank you both for being on here and for everyone else that's listening in on the recording. I know there's at least a few others that were, that were shutting down early for New Year's Eve here. So 
again, congratulations. Let's each give each other high fives. All of us give each other high fives for making it through a kind of a crazy year and uh, onwards we go to 2021.